Hey guys, this is Brian. Thank you for uh, joining me on my channel, Chords and Notes. Uh, today I am going to be doing a book review on uh, the book The Fort by Bernard Cornwall. Uh, it's actually the audiobook version uh, from recorded books and it's narrated by Robin Bowerman. Uh, Robert Cornwall, Cornwell, pardon me, uh, is uh, an historical fiction writer, and this book is based on uh, actual events in 1779 during the American Revolution um, in around what was what would have, would be Maine today uh, was actually part of Massachusetts back then, uh, and uh, King George had actually claimed that for uh, his crown and for England, and it was called New Ireland. Uh, anyways, the basic uh, the basic uh, backdrop here: um, the British had uh, approached a town and set up a, a foothold there uh, and started building a fort. And uh, with a small force, uh, the Americans responded by sending in a larger force uh, via ships. Um, and uh, this, historically prior to uh, Pearl Harbor during World War II, was uh, the Penobscot Expedition was the worst naval blunder uh, disaster uh, in U.S. naval history. Um, and as the book goes on to explain and, and illuminate, uh, it was pretty bad. They they just didn't have their, their stuff together, and there was too much indecision and, and bickering and... and uh, uh, it, it was just <laughs> was not a good time to be an American soldier, uh, at least during the Penobscot expedition. Uh, the characters, uh, I would say the overwhelming majority of them uh, accurate and true as far as, uh, you know, the names are concerned. Paul Revere, Horatio Gates was in there. Um, you can hear our birds. Sorry about that. Uh, Samuel Adams and others. Um a lot of the information was, as far as I could tell, historically accurate. Uh, Bernard Cornwell is is an historical fiction writer, and uh, so therefore a lot of his time is spent researching events and, and trying to relay them uh, in a way that not only is historically accurate, but allows him as a writer to put in certain elements of fiction. Uh, the writing itself was, was good. Uh, I enjoyed it. There were moments where I was uh, completely engaged. Uh, I was uh, audibly commenting on, on certain things. Um, and, uh, yeah, I spend a lot of time driving um, around, and I don't have a lot of time to read, but I love books. Uh, so I decided to switch to, to audio books. Um, and, and so this last week I've been, I've been reading this one, uh, or listening to it, if you will. And at any rate, uh, you know, I find myself at certain times engaged and commenting and, and, uh, other times, you know, it can be distracting because I am supposed to be focusing on the road and, and that's what I do. Uh, and there are times where I, I miss certain things and I just, I don't have the luxury of being able to uh, rewind and, and go back and, and re-listen to it. Um, so uh, I have to press on and, and just make sure that, uh, you know, I, I understand what's going on. So that being said, um, as far as the book is concerned, uh, you know, historical fiction, it's, it's a part of uh, U.S. history. Um, that's why I chose it. I, I, uh, I have studied history. Uh, I do have a minor in in history, um, and so it was a uh, it was a no brainer for me to 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 pick this up. Um, I think the writer is very good at what he does. I would definitely recommend it if this is the type of um, book that you would be looking for. Uh, it's an audio book. the uh, The narrator is is fantastic. Uh, Robin Bowerman is his name, and he does a wonderful job job bringing. Uh, the characters to life, um, and, and uh, it, it was fun listening to him uh, do what he does. He's a professional. He knows what he's doing. Um, so that being said, um, I would give this, and I'll be a little conservative on this, but I, I would give this two and a half out of four stars. 
uh, definitely a, a recommend. Um, and uh, and I would definitely check it out if you if you have uh, if you have the time. So that being said, I need to run and uh, go grab another audio book and hit the road. So um, thanks for joining, and uh, I hope to uh, hear some comments back from you. And uh, feel free to subscribe and and like. And uh, with that being said, have a good one.